Hello everyone, welcome back to another tutorial on my channel. This is a super exciting video that I have for you today and today I'm going to show you how I take a photo from Pinterest and kind of transform and interpret it into a nail design. And this is actually a collab video with Sharin of Sharin Marie Nails here on YouTube. So I will definitely link her video down in the description box below. So the challenge was that we gave each other both a Pinterest photo that we had to create a nail design based off of. And the rules were the photo could not be a picture of other nails. So it had to be something else, anything else besides nails. And also like fall related was the challenge. So these are the nails that Sharin came up with. I think they're gorgeous. And I will show you guys the photo that I sent her for her challenge. And so she sent me one for mine and the tweed nail design is something that I came up with and my kind of interpretation of the Pinterest photo that she sent me. I highly recommend doing this if you're kind of trying to develop your own style because you are going to create something that's totally unique and it's not a replica of someone else's design. So this is kind of fun. So this is the photo that Sharin sent me for my inspiration from Pinterest. So it's a whole bunch of pumpkins and different colored pumpkins. And I thought about doing some actual pumpkin nails, but then I just decided to create a design inspired by these colors because I loved these colors. You have that bright orange, the soft pink, soft kind of denim blue, some black, some white. So I was really inspired by these colors and just the fall inspiration. So that, that's what I used for my inspiration for these tweed nails. So for the colors for this tweed design, I used a white, which is Luxio Polar, and I used this blue, which is called Suave. It's becoming one of my all-time like favorite blues from Luxio. As for the pink, it is from Luxa, and it's called Raw Rose. It's a really nice light pink color. And then I also used this fun, kind of like burnt pumpkin orange called Instinct, also from Luxio. It's a little bit brighter than a like traditional burnt orange. I also used a black gel paint and a detailer brush. So for the tweed design, I am painting one coat of my white gel polish again, which is Luxio Polar, and I'm going to cure that and that's gonna be my base for this design. And then I'm also going to add a matte top coat over the top. So now I've got all of my colors laid out on my palette ready to go. And I have my white nail that is now matte. And I'm going to use my detailer brush. First, I'm going in with the orange and I'm going to create short, small strokes going down the nail totally randomly. It doesn't matter if they're different sizes, different lengths, just creating some downward kind of lines and then I'm going to flash cure that and now I'm going to go in the opposite direction and create some lines going across the nail in between the other lines as well as crossing over those first lines I made. Now I'm going to use this exact same technique, making sure I cure each color before I move on to the next color. And I'm gonna use this exact same technique for all of the colors, trying to go in between the other colors. And it's just gonna create this really pretty kind of textured tweed pattern look.
I personally really think the black just kind of made this design because it just added that touch of contrast that it needed to really make this design pop and give it that true tweed look. So once the pattern is all done and completely cured, I'm gonna wipe this design with some alcohol. I am not gonna to top coat it because I want to leave that textured kind of rough look. You can top coat it, however, it will take away from that textured look. So I'm not gonna to top coat it at all. All I'm gonna do is take my lint-free wipe and some alcohol and cleanse off any of that sticky layer from the colors and that's it, that is done. Now I will show you what it looks like if you do top coat it. So the one on the right is top coated with a shiny top coat. You could also use matte, but you can kind of see it kind of smooths over the whole thing and kind of gets rid of that texture. Now for the pointer nail, I wanted to do a half tweed design. So the exact same design, but half the nail. So I started with like a natural colored base and now I'm using my white and I'm just doing a coat of white on half the nail. So that's where the tweed pattern is gonna be at. Now to separate the tweed from like the natural base, I'm using a gold sticker. I picked one that kind of looks like a chain. I thought that would be really pretty and kind of classy. Tweed always reminds me of like Chanel or something. So I wanted to use this like gold chain. So I'm wiping the nail with some alcohol and I'm sticking down the sticker of my choice. And then I'm just gonna cut off the excess and then I'm gonna cap that into some clear gel. So I'm using a like a thicker coat of clear gel to make sure that sticker is nice and capped in. Once that's done, I'm using my matte top coat again and I am top coating over the white section because I still want that tweed design to be that kind of like matte textured look. And then I'm gonna do the exact same thing that I did with the full tweed nail to create that pattern. For the middle nail, I decided to add a little bit of like a statement piece. So I love this blue so much, like I said. This is becoming one of my favorite like blues from Luxio. I would say it's probably in my top 10 now as far as colors go. Like it's just the perfect shade of like that dusty denim blue. So I wanted to highlight this shade. I also found these little embellishments in my drawer that were like that perfect shade of pink that matched the pink gel polish that I used. So I wanted to inc incorporate those as well. So I decided to do a blue nail with a crystal kind of cluster embellishment statement piece. So I used that embellishment and attached it with some ugly duckling stick it. And once I was happy with the placement, I cured it into place with my little LED flashlight like immediately so that it wouldn't move around because it wanted to slide around. So I just cured that and then I'm gonna add some gold Swarovski crystals and some caviar beads around it to just kind of create that beautiful like statement piece of jewelry almost that you would wear with kind of like a tweed pattern maybe. Uh, I just think it looks super elegant and pretty.
I just have to say when using caviar beads, they are pretty tedious and they do take a while. So just keep that in mind. I don't do them all the time like on my clients just because they're so tedious and you have to do like one by one by one and it just takes a little bit. So sometimes if I have a little bit of extra time or I'm really looking for that little extra pop, I will add the caviar beads. So once I have that all cured into place, I'm just going around with my top coat, making sure not to cover the crystals. For the pinky nail, I'm using Beamy Beauty Box Gold Leaf Metal Leaf Gel. I love their metal leaf gel colors. They're so pretty. And so I'm just using the gold on the pinky just as a nice gold accent. And lastly, for the thumb, I decided to do a solid color of that orange. I think it's just going to tie the whole design together and it's going to bring out that orange color in the tweed as well. So I decided to do a full color nail of that orange and then I just added a couple gold embellishments just kind of like placed in a modern way, a little bit of kind of abstract way. So I, that's what I did and I attached them again with my ugly duckling stick it and then top cove top coated over the entire nail along with the embellishments. So here is the finished result again of my tweed design inspired by this photo from Pinterest. I absolutely love it. I was in love with it after I did it and I just think it's so fun to be able to use photos that are not necessarily actually pictures of nails to create art because it allows you to be creative and think outside the box. So I definitely recommend trying it if you haven't already. There's tons of photos on Pinterest from pottery, home decor, makeup, you know, so many things that you can be inspired by to create nail art. So I hope you enjoyed this video. It was so fun to make. Don't forget to check out Sharin's video to see the design she came up with based on the Pinterest photo that I gave her. So I will make sure and link that down in the description box below. Don't forget to follow me on all my social media and subscribe and I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks so much for watching.